Well, it's time to play with another <laughs> another accessory from Howard's Total Vice. Now, I've I've gotten to know Jeff Howard from Howard's Vice since I did the first couple of videos. I've bought a number of things from him, and he kind of said, "Hey, is there something that you kind of wish I did in making your videos?" And I said, "Yeah, I would actually really like a dedicated barrel vice mount." Now, what I bought before was uh, I had a couple things. I had bought this, which is his vice mounting uh, plate. And, and that thing's like 50 bucks, I think. And then this was like 25 and it's the art mount. And I had actually been using this and I think this worked just fine. Uh, except that when I put it on, you know, there was dead space in front where this would stick out. Um, you know, it, it worked, but I had to kind of change my... I had to drill some new holes in this, and it was just not an, an optimal solution, but it was perfectly workable. So I said, yeah, I would love something that was dedicated for barrel vices, and I'm sure there's other people that would too. So he said, draw me up what you want, put some dimensions on it, and send it to me. So here's what it is. He's got his standard tube, and then he's got a slotted bottom. Now this one's a little, this is a prototype he sent me. Uh, and in all fairness, I didn't pay for this one. He wanted me to test it out, so he sent it to me. Uh, but this this notch is a little bit wider than it needs to be, so he has narrowed this up a little bit, so the washer's not doing quite so much work. Uh, but you can see that it fits the barrel vise very nicely. This is a, a very common size barrel vise, whether you have 21st Century or Sinclair, you know, any of the other ones that are out there. Um, they're all very similar in size. This slotted bottom gives you a lot of options as far as, you know, where your spacing is to mount it. And uh, and it's just a really nice, slim profile on it. And just like everything else of his, it drops right in. So I thought I'd show you uh, just kind of a quick, uh, just a real quick use for it. So there's my barrel vise. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stick these are all brand new barrels that I just picked up and I just sent four barrels off to the gunsmith. These four barrels won't get used till probably the end of the year, maybe a little bit later than that even. Um, so they're going to sit in my garage for a little bit and as such I want to make sure that they're protected and this doesn't have to be super tight in here right now. I just want to get this cinched up as much as I can. And I know it's got this rubber wrap on there, but what I'm gonna be doing is just running uh, just a couple patches of uh, oil through them. And that's just to keep them from getting, you know, kind of nasty in the, in the middle. Uh, you know, coming from the manufacturer, you know, I, I bought eight barrels this time. And, you know, you'd like to believe there's still a little bit of oil in there and whatnot, but. I want to make sure that these are nice and preserved and don't get any kind of rust in them or anything like that. So if I move back here, what you can see is then these barrels haven't been cut yet. So I'm not worried about damaging any crowns or, or hurting anything. So all I want to do is just preserve these on the inside. And I'm just going to take a patch with a little bit of oil on it. And we're just going to push these through. They're a little dirty because, you know, they've been cut. But my goal here is just to get some oil down the middle of them. So this is just one, one option for things you can do with this barrel vise. I'll show you another here in a minute. And again, I'm just, just trying to get some oil down the barrel, that's it. So this one's done, no big deal. I'll go ahead and pull it out, I'll do the others later. go ahead and throw a gun in here which will instantly demonetize this video so no matter how many people watch this video it'll make about 12 cents but that's what we do here all right so that's just putting in a, a plain barrel now I can just throw in my actual gun same thing I'm just gonna crank these down you don't really have to worry about uh, damaging your barrel you know I mean maybe if you have like a 
I don't know, I've never had to clamp down like a carbon fiber barrel, so I'm sure there's rules to that. But, you know, this is an inch and a quarter stainless barrel. I'm not going to hurt this thing. All right, so that's nice and cranked down. If I needed to take this barrel off, I could go ahead and do that. And you can see that it is just, you know, sitting right here. Plenty of support. Uh, right now I've got this on the rail system that's sitting off. But the nice thing about using a barrel vise like this is if I need to do work on the underside, I can always loosen this up. Maybe I want to take the stock off. Maybe I need to do something with the trigger. I can just roll this over, clamp it back down. If I was pulling the barrel off, I would clamp down all four, but I don't really have to do that. But now you can see this thing's just nice and upside down and easy to work in. So, I mean, having a proper barrel vise is really critical if you're going to do any kind of work on a gun. Uh, so there you go. Anyway, I, I do like that Jeff is always trying to innovate with his system. Uh, I think his goal, you know, I've talked to him a little bit. He's a very nice guy. And his goal is just to create the broadest system of tools available that will fit into his stuff. You know, we've talked about this before, but he does like transmission block holders and knife holders and bike holders. And I mean, he does all kinds of stuff. So this just is just another tool that he's going to be adding to his uh, website there. I don't know exactly how long before it's a production item, but I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. And um, I don't think you'd have any issues if you were trying to mount whatever barrel vise you use on there. So if you're in the market for, you know, the, the total vise and you're wondering about mounting uh, any kind of barrel vise to it, that is the perfect solution for it. Again, very elegant, but very simple at the same time. So uh, I appreciate Jeff doing this and, and I'm sure anybody who buys one of these is going to be glad he added it. So have a great day. We'll talk later.